Lit. All right, Rob, thanks. Well, many of the faithful observing Holy Week. Tonight at St. John's Cathedral, Holy Thursday was marked with the washing of the feet. Danielle Garcia was there and shows us the tradition. The story all new tonight at 10. With just a few days before Easter Sunday, people filled the pews at St. John's Cathedral, taking part in Mass and the washing of the feet. Well, the next three days are the holiest days in the Christian calendar, when we celebrate Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and then the vigil on Holy Saturday night. And the ceremony of the washing of the feet that takes place with the in memorial of when Jesus himself washed the feet of the 12 apostles at the Last Supper. That just as he shows us the example of charity and love, he who is God lowered himself to wash the feet of the apostles, something that was relegated to servants to do when guests came to someone's house. 12 parishioners who were selected went up to the altar and sat down. They put their right foot in a tub as Bishop J. Douglas Desitel pours water and wipes their foot, just as Jesus Christ did to the apostles the night before he died. Bishop Desitel says this tradition that started thousands of years ago can still serve as a lesson for people today. Just as Jesus offered himself for others, we as Christians are called by that teaching of Jesus to offer ourselves for others. Uh, it happens to those who volunteer to work in a food pantry or work in a clothes closet or work at a diner uh, to feed the, uh, the homeless or to feed those who are in need. Those are all examples of putting into practice, putting into action in our everyday lives the command of Jesus that we serve our brothers and sisters. In Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KATC TV3.